Hello everyone and welcome to a bonus video. I am Sarah with Beyond Fabric and today we're going to show you a quick and easy receiving blanket. So receiving blankets size-wise are all over the board. Some manufacturers have anywhere from a 30 to 40, 36 by 36, 28 by 34. Uh, there's a wide range of sizes. So today we are going to show how to make a receiving blanket that is cut size 29 by 38. So it'll be a finish 28 by 37. I have a flannel and all of this has been pre-washed and pre-shrunk and then I have a quilt weight cotton. It's so cute. Look at the little animals. So this will be one side and this will be the other. Now to make it a little bit different than just a rectangle, we are going to curve our corners. So I already have our pieces cut and they're folded in half because I want to take and curve these two corners. So you can take a plate, saucer, spool of ribbon, anything that's got a curve on it. So we have our plate and we are lining it up on this side and on this side and we're going to mark it. I'm just marking it with a friction pin, it disappears with heat. We're going to cut right there so it doesn't really matter. You can use anything you want to mark with, whatever's handy. And cut it. Normally I would be on that side of the table. There we go. And do it with the other side of the blanket. Now we have our corners cut out and we're going to lay these right sides together. Now that I have them right sides together, go ahead and put some clips around to hold them in place. And so I do not forget to leave a hole to flip it. I'm going to just put a mark with my friction pen. Hey, don't sew here. Now let's go stitch. So I have my pieces right sides together. And because I feel that the cotton layer may stretch a little bit more, I'm going to have it on the bottom side while I'm stitching. We have left our hole to flip it, and now we're going to clip our curves. So we're using pinking shears, or you could put some little clips in. This is just to remove the bulk, so when it goes, folds over, it lays flat. So just on the curves. Find your hole. 
And before I flip it, shake it off. Make sure there are no pieces stuck because when you flip it, they'll end up inside your blanket. Run your finger along that curb. Now we're going to take it over to the iron, press that seam flat so that we can top stitch and be done. Where the opening is, make sure that that seam allowance is folded in before you press it. This cute little flamingo. This is an art gallery fabric. The animals, it's a double border, so it's on both sides. It makes such a cute blanket. Make a cute skirt too. And we do have this fabric in stock right now. If you're watching this years from now, Probably not, but our website is www.beyondfabricinc.com and you could check out all the other juvenile prints we have. Now the flannel is going to add a little bit of warmth to it. We definitely don't want a batting or anything like that in here. Again, this is just a quick, easy receiving blanket. You don't want anything too heavy. So this could go from summer to winter. Especially if you live down here where we are, where we have maybe one month that's cold. Once we have it pressed, let's go top stitch it. I have lengthened my stitch length to be a little bit longer as we go around to do our top stitching. Um, I'm also right up against the edge. I'm doing just a straight stitch. You can do a decorative stitch though. contrast thread color to make it pop a little more.
get back over to your area where we need to close the hole. Again, double check and make sure that those that seam allowance is pushed in. And our threads are clipped. There we go. And now our hole is closed. when you meet up with your other side. Cut your thread. And, and now we have one adorable receiving blanket. You don't have to do any other attachments. We just have the two layers. However, with this cute fabric, it would be nice to do a little bit of hand stitching following along with the markings on here, if you want. If not, just go ahead, package this up and give it as a gift. For more baby tutorials, make sure to check out our playlist here, and we hope to see you again on another Make It Monday or bonus video. Thank you for joining, and make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. You can also check us out on Instagram, Facebook, and our website, www.beyondfabricinc.com. Make sure to click to get notified every time we post a new video. Thank you for joining.